Hey there everyone, this is Sebastian Platt here and I'm going to review the Kuzu desk lamp supercharger that I got for Christmas a few weeks ago. Okay, so here's the desk lamp itself. So up here, that's where the light is going to shine down. Over here we have two outlets to plug in various devices that require an outlet or if you want to charge something quickly such as your phone or computer or your tablet or whatever. Then over here are the controls. So right here, we got the power button to power on the light. We have the plus button, or these aren't really buttons, but so we have the power logo here to turn the light on. We have the plus symbol here to raise the brightness. And then the minus symbol is to lower the brightness. Over here is the M symbol to change the tone of the lights. And then here is a 60 minute timer to shut the lights off automatically after 60 minutes. Down here, we have three USB ports. So two of these are going to be five volt, one amp ports. And that's the two USB ports with the single lightning symbol. Then the one to the right is a double lightning symbol, which is five volts, two amps. So it's a 10 watt USB port. And here's what the product is called. So just give it a second to focus. It should focus any second. Alright, in case it doesn't, it's called the Kuzu 3-Port Smart Supercharger, which is a weird name, but it is what it is. Then here on the back, hold on. So then here, so then here on the back, we have the DC output, which is 30 watts, 6 amps max for the USB ports. Then for the rated power, the outlets can handle up to 1250 watts of power. And the voltage compatibility is 100 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz, which means that this will work anywhere in the world provided that you have the right adapter. Then right here is the port to plug in the lamp into the wall so that you can turn it on. So let's turn the lamp on real quick and I'll show you how it works. The cord it comes with is about five feet long. So for some people, that's going to be plenty of distance, but for others, depending on where the outlets are and where your desk is, it may not be long enough, but it depends. But for someone with a nightstand, this will be perfectly fine. So now I'm going to turn the light on. So the light is on now. So I'm going to raise the brightness up a little bit. And there it is at max brightness if I use the touch symbol. If I use the minus symbol, or not the touch symbol, the plus symbol. And you can raise it up to three levels of brightness. Then with the minus symbol, it's going to lower the brightness a little bit. And it goes down to about this dim. So this is as bright as it gets. And this is as dim as it gets. Then we have the M touch symbol here, which will change the tone. So you notice how the light went from white to orange. So now I'm going to change it again. And it's got a bit of a mixture between orange and white. It's a bit hard to tell, but if you look closely. Hold on. So if you look closely, it's a mixture of orange and white here. So if I change it. So if I change it again, hold on. It's just pure white. And then that's going to be orange. And then the combination of the two will be just like that. And then you see this, you see this white light right next to the USB ports. That indicates that the light is on and it's working and the lamp is working fine. So if I shut it off, it'll still go white. But if I turn it back on, it's still white. However, it's going to change to orange. If I hit this 60 minute timer symbol right, right there. So if I press that, this is going to turn like a red orangish color. And that's telling me that in 60 minutes, the light is going to shut off automatically, but the outlets and the USB ports will still work just fine. And once the light shuts off after 60 minutes, you can just turn it back on by touching this power symbol right there. So now let's plug some stuff in and show the ports working. So now, hold on, I'm gonna get my switch power adapter here. 
I'm gonna plug it in like that. And my Nintendo Switch is charging. So now I'm going to plug in my anchor charger with the USB-C lightning cable and a micro USB cable. That's going to be for my iPad Pro. Oh, come on. For my iPad Pro and my portable charger. So just give me one second. I'm gonna plug these in and I'm gonna show the parts charging up. All right, so I'm gonna show the iPad. Hold on. So I'm gonna plug it in. So as you see there, the iPad is charging. So now the portable charger. I'm gonna plug the cord into the portable charger. And now my portable charger is charging. So when the light is blinking on there, that means it's charging up. So my switch, my iPad, and my portable charger Three of my most power hungry devices besides my phone, they're all charging up from the two outlets. However, we still have room for some USB ports, so let's plug in a couple things. Alright, so let's do this little this little guy, my Oons Angle 3 Rain Dance Bluetooth speaker. It's pretty nice, I like it, so let's plug it in. All right, so now it's charging up. So whenever this thing is charging, it's going to be blinking back and forth, orange or yellow, no, orange and orange or red, depending on what it looks like on camera, it's going to be blinking orange and then off. And it's gonna do that very slowly. So this Bluetooth speaker is charging up. So now the next thing is my Bluetooth headphones. So let's get that real quick. So let's get another cord. All right, so now let's plug it in. So now my MPAL Bluetooth headphones are charging up. Those are the MPAL 59s in case you were wondering, but those are charging up as well. And we still have one more USB port. So let's charge up one more thing so let's see oh i know what i can charge all right all right hold on actually i'm going to charge my phone while i'm recording this just to show it off or well, i'm probably gonna have to hold my phone while i do this so just just give me one second All right, so let me just plug this in real quick. All right, and I'm gonna charge my phone. So now my phone is charging up. You can't tell on camera, but my phone is charging with the 10 watt USB port right there. So all the ports are filled up. We got a ton of devices charging, such as my power bank, my iPad, my Nintendo Switch, my phone, and then my Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speakers. So I got a ton of my main devices charging up. Now, I mean, my Bluetooth keyboard doesn't need to be charged as much, nor does my Pro Controller or my Joy-Cons. They don't need to be charged as often, but the items that I use pretty much every day or every other day, such as my iPad, my phone, and whatnot, all these can be charging at the same time. And what's cool about this lamp is I can turn the lights off and everything is still charging up. So I don't need to have the lights on in order to charge all my stuff. And with the power strip that I have that lights up in the dark and it lights up blue with two outlets and two USBs, one thing that's really annoying about that light is that I can't charge is that I can't charge my stuff without the lights off. So anytime I'm charging something overnight, I'd have to go to bed and then when I 
open my eyes, the lights are going to blind me a little bit and it's going to be hard for me to sleep. But if I unplug it, my stuff won't charge. So with this, while I'm playing games at night or working on my desk at night once school starts, I can charge my stuff while I'm working on my homework or playing games with the light on. Then when I'm ready to go to bed, I can charge some of my things like my iPad or my power bank or whatnot, my Switch. I can charge those overnight with the light off. And I won't be and I won't be distracted by any lights as I'm going to bed. So that's really cool. And plus the outlets are spaced just far enough for my switch power adapter and my anchor fast charger to fit. However, if you have two really wide bricks or even one super wide and chunky brick, you might have one outlet blocked. So that's just something to keep in mind. But most chargers you have shouldn't be this shouldn't be wider than the switch power adapter so that's something that you got to keep in mind with the outlets the usbs are spaced out far enough so that any usb device that you need to charge you can plug it in no problem and the controls are very easy you don't need to press a button you just need to touch the symbols and it's pretty it's pretty simple so and you don't need to install any light bulbs you just plug it in you just take it out of the package you plug it in and it's ready to work. It's ready to go. No manual needed. It's just easy to use. So I would definitely recommend this if you have a desk in your room and you need to read or do homework in your room a lot while you're working, working at night. You know, I mean, there's students that are on campus that do their homework there, but say you got some reading to do or you got a test to study for, you know, a couple of nights before. You can use this lamp to charge your phone, your laptop, and stuff like that while you're studying for your exams, reading, or you're doing your homework at home, and the light's not going to get in the way. It's not going to bother your eyes, and you're going to be able to save your lights that are in your room, or just in case the light switch doesn't work in your room for some reason because it's jammed like mine is, this definitely comes in handy. So I would recommend this to those that have a nightstand that need to charge their stuff at night and have a lamp that they can easily shut off so that they don't have to pull down a lever or you know turn a switch or something to turn the lights on and off. It's super easy to turn the lights on and off and it gets plenty bright. I'd also recommend it to people that need a desk lamp at their computer. So you know you know those power strips that have a lot of outlets that will charge that not charge but power all the Essentials in the office, such as your monitor, PC, printer, among other things. But if you need to charge something, you know, like your phone or your laptop while you're at your desk, it could be kind of hard to reach depending on where the power strip is. So with this desk lamp on your desk, it'll be easy to charge the essentials and it'll give you some extra light if you need it while you're working at night. So it's really good for that. So yeah. That's going to be it for this review. I will see y'all later.